All right, guys, welcome back. Now we are in part three. We've got our little dude all set up here. So he should all, he should be all set to animate correctly. I'm pretty sure I even got, yeah, yeah. Everything should be mounted correctly and everything. Um, and off screen, I just set up a few other ones. I've got this guy here with his sweet little tassel and a power fist. So we have that as an option. Um, I have this guy just as a different looking one with the assault helm. And let's see. It's unit three. I've got unit four, which is instead of him holding the bolt pistol, logically in his build, he would still have a bolt pistol. But this way he can kind of, you know, look like he's all ready to stab with that knife. And... I also made a uh, pack leader with the power axe and the plasma pistol. So we've got all of those going. One thing I'm going to do first and foremost with the uh, with the pack leader. We're just going to pop open a new window. And I'm just going to close my old window because I forgot to. There we go. So, one thing I'm going to look up, we just need, I'm just going to look up some Viking symbols while Photoshop is opening up here. There we go. And we're just going to find, do, 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 do. We're just going to find our uh, pack leader. Blood Claw Leader. There it is. Cool. So on this one, all of laying them out and everything, I pretty much did the same thing with all of them um, because the resolution is so much higher than what the uh, what the regular guys have. So we're just going to take on the blade here. I'm just going to put a couple little rune sort of symbols on there. So yeah, we'll just do something like Something like these. I'm just going to copy it. Go into Photoshop. Just paste it in. There we go. And normally that would be way... Way too small. Or way too... Yeah. Way too small. But in this case we should be just fine. So. Just going to select one at a time. Paste it into a new layer. And we're just going to make a, uh, we're just going to pick like, let's just pick like, yeah, let's grab this one. And I'm just going to set them up so they kind of look like they're in some sort of order. And I'm just picking the, uh, the most, like the most Viking looking ones. There we go. Take these. I'm just gonna merge them. Take this one. I'm just gonna delete it. And control T to transform. Take it like that. Drop the opacity so I can see what I'm doing. It's getting pretty small there. It's getting us pretty close though. And actually, instead of just regular transforming, let's actually warp it. So we're just gonna have it kinda kinda get a little bit of a little bit of curve going. Which should end up looking kinda cool. Hopefully it doesn't. Yeah. And that's still legible and everything. So we can... Now we'll just duplicate that. Transform. We're just going to flip it vertically. Pop 
pop it up on this side as well. Um, we're going to merge those. I'm just clicking, holding shift, clicking on the other one, and then right clicking. And that lets us do that. Oh, before I do that, we need to get the opacity to full on both of them. There we go. Now we'll merge those layers. Image. We're just going to invert it. Now do we want to lighten it? Yeah, we're going to lighten it because then what we're going to do, just double click on it there, just to do some outer glow on it. We're gonna just going to get kind of a power weapon sort of blue. And bring that size down. Ooh, that's not working. Gonna make a new layer. Gonna make it white. And we're gonna put a mask on it. Now we're gonna hold Control A to select everything, Control C to copy it. Go in here. Make the go to channels, make the last mask visible. There we go. And now we're just going to have to bring it right in like the exact same spot. There it is. Cool. And there we go. That should. There we go. So now it's just a white. That looks pretty good. And now we'll do an outer glow on this. Which should give us should give us the look we're the look we're hoping for. Yeah. Still getting a little bit of that edge. We'll see how it uh We'll see how it looks here in a second. And we're also just going to emboss it a little bit. going to use the brush get the opacity to full opacity and we're just I'm just going along the edges there just to kind of help get rid of that weird sort of rectangle effect that we are dealing with there we go it's starting to get us there some of the stuff to just kind of get get it there somewhere and I'm actually going to instead of doing white on this I'm going to do black yeah and we're just going to make it not quite so black Or we could do just a completely different color. I 
Yeah, it's not looking bad. Kind of, sort of getting the effect that I was hoping to out of it. Just do a very small inner glow that's going to be straight up white. And we're just going to do like two points. There we go. That way, at least from a distance, you can still see it, which is kind of the main point. I'm just going to save Control S, and then we're going to save it as a PNG. And once it's done there, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah, kind of cool. You know, if it was like a sword, it would probably turn out a little nicer because you'd have more edge to kind of work with, like with the uh, the image that we we're kind of basing everything off of. But that ought to do pretty well. So, and now, now really all we have left to do is just set up a, uh, is just pose him. We're going to pose him and then we're going to set up his, uh, and then we're going to, you know, scale him correctly, set up his pedestal, and then we'll be all good to go. So I'm going to select... There we go. I'm just going to select his, uh, his core bits. And this one, this first one I'm going to do, since he's kind of the leader... I'm just going to kind of rotate rotate him back a little bit, bring him forward a little bit. That might be a little more than we need. And I'm just going to give him this kind of power pose. I originally saw it. The first time I kind of saw it, I, it was a, a Warhammer 40k Death Watch. The game. And they would do this thing where... They would kind of like, kind of thrust their hips forward a little bit, and it just, it does a does a really good job of uh, kind of giving them this this sort of power pose a little bit. Just gonna need to bring those back a little bit more. There we go. Now we're just gonna grab them both, bring them up. Just kind of trying to get get some sort of pose set up for him. He might still be leaning a little bit too far forward. There we go. Yeah. Eh. There it is. And I'm just rotating on the X, Y, and Z axis just to get get his feet kind of flat. There we go. And we'll just take his toe there. up there. 
with these uh with these um models their shoulders are separate so you just have to go in and tweak the shoulders let's do a little bit of that and that's kind of the pose that we've got going right now I'm just gonna go in on his hands on the y-axis and I'm doing y and then like local y and then sometimes you just have to tweak some of the others as well a little bit just because it does it gets a little warped as it goes down Rotating around a little bit. There we go. That way he's actually holding the weapon. And. Oh. I get that screen cast on. There we go. Actually, I'm going to, ooh. there we go. Now we don't have to worry about, because we are, we have bid, we have bid all, all texturing ado. And I'm just gonna select all the bones, I, Location, rotation, and scale. I'm gonna take. Ooh. And honestly, where where those are right now, I'm fine with that. So. just that way we've got them all keyframed and that should do us right there and we can go into the pose library I like to kind of double up on some of these and just add new it's just gonna be ready one well a lot of times you don't need to do that but I like to do it sometimes just to make sure that we've uh that we've got it all set up right and just to kind of make this a little more dynamic just hitting C to circle select everything there we go and we're just going to uh, turn on proportional editing right in front of his uh his knee so that we don't have any of the clipping there and I think I'm liking that cool so that's one down I'm gonna grab our first unit there And if I wanted to, I could import, import his poses since he's got the exact same skeleton and everything. But I am not going to do that in this case. I'm going to drop him down quite a bit. I'm going to bring one foot forward. Let's uh, just to mix him up a little bit because the other one, we had his other foot forward. So we're just going to bring this one forward. 
out. And I'm just going to rotate his, his foot a little bit. There we go. set up in a way I'm really gonna have him kind of leaning forward looking mean you know yeah give him something like that we're gonna bring both of his arms back down a little bit and just to make it a little little less symmetrical this arm's going to be up a little bit more. Get his shoulders sorted out. It looks like he's having a little problem with, uh, I'm going to go into weight paint. Subtract. Yeah, his shoulder pad is a uh, turn up the strength to full. There we go. Because we don't want any any of that getting affected. There we go. There is something. There it is. Yeah, the banner for some reason. It's, you know, it it uh it can tend to have some problems when it's uh when it's trying to automatically do it and it'll try to make the skeleton work, but there we go. And I'm even gonna Yeah, kind of get his his head kind of in a odd sort of position. There we go. And we'll just take all of these. There we go. I'm just gonna name this one Ready Two. So we've got unit one, we've got the pack leader. Let's do unit two. This one, I'm going to have him. Make sure everything's assigned to his head. There we go. This one I'm going to have him kind of down as well, not quite as down. And the, the idea with this guy is he's a... Uh, He's like kind of turning, ready to, ready to blast somebody with that fist. So what's the point of the power fist if he's not really laying the smack down on anyone with it? This one's going to be down and back so that he's kind of counterbalancing for himself. And we'll just 
just get in there. There it is. I want this even further back. Let's get his shoulders kind of sorted out there. Before I forget, yeah, no, no, that's not what we want. Oh, uh, let's see. So there we go. Cool. So I just want to double check because I hate coming back to them. Yeah. Just want to come back and make sure they're all uh, they're all still posed because that's the worst. When you don't record as the animation there, it will immediately get rid of it. Um, as soon as you save and reopen it in Blender, which is not is not fun. We've got one, two, and the pack leader. Let's grab unit three. I'm just going to have him. Oop. shoot Since they're assault guys, even though he's shooting, I kind of want to. I'm gonna try my best to um to kind of put him in a pose that looks like he's still, you know, he's like shooting, but um he's got his sword ready, like he's just surrounded. And you know, like how uh when you have a bolt pistol, you're still using it in melee. Like kind of that sort of logic that he's, you know, he's shooting. He's shooting, but he's still ready to chop, you know. In fact, I might end up... Yeah. Like he's got his sword back. Like maybe he just like slashed somebody. And now he's he's getting all geared up. Geared up to chop somebody else. Or to blast somebody who's like running toward him. You know. 
I'm definitely no. I definitely don't consider myself a, uh, like a genius when it comes to, uh, the posing. Um, but the big thing that, you know, I kind of tried to take from, in terms of trying to make it look like actual, like games workshop characters and stuff is to just, uh, just try to make them look, you know, give them a decent amount of like action with their poses so that they kind of, they still, they look very much like they're, there we go. So that they still, they look like they're really, uh, they're in the midst of doing something. Um, and outside of that, I just try to mostly, uh, make sure that they're, I still have to fix the shoulders, but I'm gonna get those. Get the elbow, elbow and knee controls set up. There it is, cool. Just gonna call this shooting one. So that's one, two, and three, and the pack leader. So we just have unit four left. And for him, since I gave him that, I mean, we gave him that knife, so we're gonna. You know we're going to have to use it. Oh, he is not assigned to the skeleton. Parent him with empty groups. See, just need to parent his head to the head. Sign it, there we go. This one, I'm just going to try to get him. Kind of lurching forward. This one, he's like really, he's really in high motion. Sometimes, I mean, a lot of times I like to, uh, a lot of times I like to, um, kind of set him up so that the character actually, so that there's kind of some, the, the whole unit kind of sticks to one specific style which like since these guys are blood claws you know and they're the they're the assault guys I would be kind of tempted to make them all sort of doing this sort of motion thing we're gonna bring that forward a little bit sometimes with these eh. yeah 
that'll that'll probably do. Yeah, sometimes with these uh with these kind of guys, I'll do I'll make them look like they're all try to give them all sort of a a similar type of pose. Like if one's looks like he's you know advancing, then they're all gonna look like they're advancing. But but in this case. I think since we're since we're just doing the one unit for right now, I think that this will this will look good and kind of help them, especially with them being space wolves. There, help them kind of keep their own sort of personality because with them being with them being blood claws, they're all you know they're they're kind of crazy. You know they're they're new. They're the young punks with a lot to prove, and they just, you know, they're not working together. Like this guy's, you know, charging in and stabbing while the other guy's holding back, and pack leader's just trying to get him to pay attention for a second. They're all going to be dead by the end anyways. Because they're just, you know, they're all loose cannons. There we go. Stabbing one, cool. So there we go. Now we've now we've got them all set up. I am going to import. This is just kind of going off of what I do myself all the time. Um, I'm just sizing them to uh, not for D and D stuff. I'm sizing uh, Warhammer. There it is. I'm just going to take one of mine and look how incredibly small this guy is compared to uh compared to Compared to what we're doing, I'm gonna switch over to object mode on everything. We're gonna set the cursor, cursor, snap cursor to center. There we go. Now that the unit is done, I'm just gonna name it Unit Four. Posed, because what I'm going to do now is a lot of times I don't like combining stuff unless absolutely necessary. So we're going to join it. Oh, that's why I don't like doing that because it does weird things sometimes. wasn't a problem since he's already posed I'm just gonna apply the armature so now we're actually not using the armature at all anymore um, and that's everything that we need over here I've got these guys we don't need them anymore wish I remembered to uh, get rid of those guys a little sooner Select both the skeleton and the marine. Ooh, and we're just going to scale them. Bring them down. This way, you won't have to do as much worrying about getting them in the correct kind of size compared to other guys. And that's pretty, that's pretty good there. Move the, uh, I'm just going to go into edit mode and take this base. So I'm going to want that. This, the rest of this guy though, I'm just going to move there. And that's pretty good. There we go. Bring him up just a 
just a little bit, so he's posing right. How's he look in comparison to this guy? Pretty good. I might scale him up just a little bit more. Yeah. Now save him. Hit N to go to open up this toolbar over here. We're going to go to display. Nope, not display. We're going to go to shading. Hit back face calling. The reason we're doing that is I just want to check and make sure everything's looking correct. And that looks like it's doing well. We're going to pick his material for, for his base. And I'm just going to pick the... Uh, yeah, pick the Space Wolves. Space Wolves Blue. For that. So now we've got him all set up. We're just going to export him as an object. Blood Claw Unit 4. And we're going to go into Documents. I'm just going to get into my Tutorials one here. Yeah. Cool. And we're just going to do, at the very end, we'll get one collider set up for all of them. So we don't need to worry about that for right now. And I am going to go through real quick and just convert all the rest of them because it's all going to be the same for this. And I'll be right back. Actually, my mistake, I just realized I did something wrong. Um, on this one, I just put together, I have these extra armor bits that we that I still left on there that I had just turned invisible. So we're not going to want those. And so I'm just going to save it one more time. Export it one more time. Unit 4. Cool. And now I'm just gonna speed stuff up and we'll get we'll get through the rest of these real quick. And last time, and this time I mean it, these controls, we're not using it anymore. Like we could also Oh. The, uh, the controls we're not using anymore, so actually we also need to delete those because those will show up as little squares everywhere. So now we export it. This will be the last time, and then we should be good to go.
Alright, so we've got everything set up here how we want it. I've got all of the models exported. So the only other thing we have left to do is to make sure we've got a nice nice collision box. Just double checking that back face calling and that looks good. Um, so we're just going to add in a cube. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's way up there. This is why it's nice to snap that cursor to the center so it doesn't do that. And this is something that we covered in the last one, but we'll just make the maximum draw type to be wire. We're just going to bring it right down on him. Right there. There we go. Right there. There it is. Go into edit mode, scale it on the X. And if you guys watch my other tutorials, you know, I mostly I try to kind of bring it in a little bit because I don't want it, I want it to be bumping against his axe and then you're just trying to move something past him and it's like, oh, no, the axe is in the way, you know, or you, you don't want it to be. I, I hate when it's bigger than the actual object. So I think I'll be pretty happy with that, though. So we're just going to save this one more time. Going to take everything other than the box, delete it, don't save this, and I'm just going to call this the Blood Claw Call for Collider. Cool. There we go. So now we should have all of those good. So I am going to. Get us into Tabletop Simulator, and then we'll, I'll see you in there to actually get them all imported. Alright, so we are back into our original file here. This is where we started with everything. I'm just going to copy this orc here just to have something to base it off of. Just right click on him, click on Custom, just like we did to get all of his files. And let's see. And we are just going to... Please excuse me while I show you guys everything on my hard drive. Uh, do, do, do. And we're just going to just go right down the line. We'll go to the pack leader first. here and just get that collider awesome there he is a little big we'll make him a little bit smaller here just so that we have enough room on the table for all of them but yeah looks like he looks like he did the job though so let's go through Blood Claw Pack Leader. And we'll just go through. We can use the same collider on all of them, which will be really nice. I honestly, this is the, the collider I use for all of my guys. Oh. There he goes. So that was unit one. Go to two. Normally I think it would be better to try to have these all on the same on the same one, but this should still I'm 
gonna call him Blood Claw Power Fist because he's got that Power Fist. Oh, still only rolled him for a second there. Just gonna copy this one for the rest of them because all the rest of them will have will just be the regular Blood Claws. They won't have a Power Fist. So Unit Three. Once it finishes importing those, there we go. And one thing I really, really like about this kind of running them this way too is like, let's say, you know, if you wanted you could change out all their poses and everything you know you could have the same model set with the same textures and a different pose which i just think is is pretty cool um i think it definitely helps to uh let's bring them all in a little closer but there you have it and now we've got our blood claws completely custom with their own with the the coloration and everything it's an awesome way if you want to make if you want to uh, to make like if you want to make custom chapters honestly I when I found this I wish I wish I could find the person who did it and if anybody knows where the the form where it was originally posted I found it on a forum uh, specifically looking for Dawn of War 2 models and somebody had it right there and it was it was made originally for a uh, uh, source filmmaker or Gary's mod. I can't remember which one they had it set up for, but it was it was right up there and it's just, you know, it's just awesome. And so I really hope I hope you guys like this and I hope it really kind of gets you guys keen to uh to kind of come in, you know, come in and maybe try to do some of this as well. If you guys are really liking this, I would love to make even more, you know, do some more different like different space marines or just you know i i spend a lot of time tracking down 3d models you know from different games and stuff for for space marines so definitely let me know what you guys like you know what you think would be better or worse i wanted to get one of them out here that is just kind of just like with the uh the dnd miniatures i wanted to have one where you know like you could see it so that that way you know exactly what i'm doing from start to finish and you could follow it right along. So if you wanted to make these exact guys, you have everything that you need. Um, so I hope this was helpful to you guys. Um, definitely send me a comment. You know, just just you know, drop a comment on it. Let me know what you think. And you know, if this is if this is something people are into, I would be more than happy to to keep working on it. So just let me know. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.